On the 597th day of the war in Ukraine, the fighting was concentrated in these areas. On Zaporizhia front, during the last 48 hours, battles intensified near Kopani, Novo Prokopivka and Verbove. Ukrainian forces continued to put pressure on the Russian flank near Nesteryanka and Kopani. Today, Ukrainian sources published footage from the 128th Mountain Assault Brigade showing a small Ukrainian armored unit consisting of a T-72 tank and a BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicle attacking and clearing the Russian positions north of Kopani, about 3 kilometers away from the town. In the video, we can see the Ukrainian tank moving close to the tree lines, advancing towards the Russian positions and opening fire to suppress them and make way for the Ukrainian BMP to approach the trenches and land the infantry forces who later managed to clear the area and establish control over this trench line. During the operation, Ukrainian forces took all the right measures to avoid becoming a target for the Russian ATGM crews. On their right, the advance of the Ukrainian unit was covered by the dense tree line and on their left, Ukrainian forces deployed a large smoke screen to cover them during their assault towards the Russian position. In this side of the front, Ukrainian forces also made some small tactical advances west of Nesteryanka and Robotine by capturing a few tree lines and fortifications near the two settlements. On the other hand, it seems that the Ukrainian forces were pushed back from some of their positions east of Novoprokopivka following a Russian counterattack. A small Russian armored unit, consisting of a tank and two armored vehicles, was seen pushing north and firing at the Ukrainian positions to prepare the ground for the infantry forces to land and take new positions along the tree lines north of the Russian defensive line. During the past few days, Ukrainian forces were also able to advance west and northwest of Verbove. Recent geolocated footage shows the Russian artillery targeting the Ukrainian forces in the tree lines and trenches only a few hundred meters away from this town. During the previous week, Russians launched a powerful counterattack in this area, forcing Ukrainians to abandon a part of their position, but it seems that during the last few days they were able to regain all the previously lost positions. On Donetsk front, battles continue north and southwest of Avdiivka. Russian forces made new attempts to break through the Ukrainian lines, but failed to make any visible progress during the last 24 hours. In the northern part of the front, battles remain concentrated northeast of Stepove, where the Russian forces carried out other attacks near the railway, yet without advancing. Ukrainian forces continue to exert pressure over the Russian flanks by constantly launching counterattacks from the town of Novokalinove towards the Russian positions north of Krasnohorivka. Battles continue in the vicinity of the Waste Hill, where today, in addition to the Ukrainian sources, some Russian sources also acknowledged that Ukrainians managed to repel the Russian forces and regained full control over the high ground north of Avdivka. Ukrainian source Deep State Map published new footage showing that the massive Russian convoy who attacked in this direction suffered additional losses during its retreat. At least three more armored vehicles were destroyed during the retreat, which put the total number of confirmed destroyed tanks and armored vehicles at 8 out of about 25 units involved in this operation. So far, after four days of their offensive, the Russian forces have not been able to capture any settlement or strategic position on this sector. According to Ukrainian sources, based on visual evidence, during the first three days of the offensive, Russian army lost up to 70 pieces of equipment. In Bakhmut front, Ukrainian forces advanced east of Klyshivka, clearing other Russian positions along the railway. According to Ukrainian sources, now the Ukrainian forces are working to expand their control near the lakes to the east of the railway, and at the same time the Ukrainian army made some small tactical advances near the town of Kurdyumivka. According to some Ukrainian sources, because of the constant Ukrainian raids north and northeast of Kurdyumivka, the Russian forces are leaving their positions near Zelenopilia, repositioning in a safer line near the road east of Kurdyumivka. For this reason, I decided to expand the grey area north of these two settlements. Ukrainian drone units continue to be very active on this front. In the last 24 hours, using FPV drones, Ukrainian forces damaged and destroyed at least four Russian tanks and one armored vehicle on the southeastern part of the front near Dolomitne. 
as well as one artillery system and one BTR armored personnel carrier inside the city of Bakhmut. Friends, if you like my daily updates, I kindly ask you to hit the like and subscribe buttons as this will greatly help the channel to reach a wider audience. That's all for today's update, thank you to my Patreon supporters and have a great day.